how to create a YouTube playlist in 2018. That's what we're checking out today. G'day, it's Doug from Doug Houston YouTube here, and we're here to help you with tech wherever possible. Today, we're doing a YouTube question. And that question is, how do I use playlists in YouTube? But if you're into technology videos where we do some gear reviews, we do tutorials and how-tos on apps like Final Cut Pro, Canva, iOS tutorials, PC and Mac, and even a little bit of YouTube, well, why not consider subscribing down below and check the bell so you don't miss a thing when a video drops. Anyway, let's head on over and check out the tutorial. Okay, we're on the iPad and there's two apps that YouTube give you for iOS. Same with the iPhone or the iPad, whatever iOS device you happen to be using. And uh, you can see them here. One is your Creator Studio, which is this one down here that I'm wiggling. And then you got your regular YouTube app. Now, when you think about it logically, you would think that the playlist features would be more accessible and usable in the Creator Studio app because you can do a lot of that stuff in Creator Studio on PC. Well, in re all reality, what you want to do is actually go into the regular YouTube app. So we're going to do that right now. And here we are on my channel with some recent videos that have gone up on my channel. And then underneath here, we've got some playlists. And obviously, you complete list of playlists across the top here, home videos, playlists. Some of the um, uh, obviously hidden playlists that don't show up on your channel, like all the videos you liked. And you can see there's a, a few sets of uh, playlists that I've got set up at the moment. So let's go back to our home. Let's just go back to videos. I'm going to take my most recent video that is live, which is the top one partner program FAQ. So we want to go into this video first of all. We're going to tap the little little side here, and you can see I can. One of the options for this video is add the playlist. So we're going to ch check that. And it gives me a list of the existing playlists that I've got. And then I also have the option to create a new playlist. This one's a partner program. This one's already in the news and tech and YouTube playlist. I've already put it in there. So I'm going to put that in recommended. So this method is I've just added that partner program FAQ added to my recommended so if I go over to recommended if I go into that it'll actually show me that I've recommended these particular sets of video I've got four videos in there recommended now if I've already put a video in a playlist or if I want to remove it I should say I can remove here I can add it to another playlist from here because it's just a video that you're linking to each individual playlist a video can appear in multiple playlists if I want to move it, I've got these little lines here. I can just grab the line on the left hand side and drag it up. I'm going to put it at the top for the purpose of the tutorial. Okay, I'm going to jump back out and say that I want to you know, take that same video and add it to a playlist. It gives me the option to uh, give it a name. So we're going to call it YouTube monetization, the American spelling for everything. Now I'll have the option here of making it public, unlisted or private. If it's something that other people we want other people to see, obviously we're going to leave it on public. Unlisted means that it's available to people, but it's just not showing up on your channel. Private means that nobody has access to it at all. So private playlist is like a personal playlist, maybe a list of videos that you want to go back and watch like to watch later. So I've given it a name there and I'm going to tick the little check button there and that's added that playlist. Now I want to add this one here, the monetization changes, it's on the same topic. I want to add that to that same playlist. Now I just have to find that under YouTube monetization. That's added and I've also got, what have I got, uh, YouTube monetization updated. This one here, we want to add that to that playlist as well. And that's added, and I don't think I've got anything else. Okay, I'm going to jump over to playlist now, and we're going to have a quick look at the order. 
Now it should be placed them in the order that I pinned them. Okay, I want them in the order that they came out. So I want YouTube AI at the top. So pretty much the reverse order that I put them in. Now there's additional things you want to add to playlists. Uh, one of those is, if we get a little pen icon, is to put in a description. You want the title to be descriptive to a certain degree, but you want a description to actually show what this whole group of videos is about. Now, because a playlist gets a, a content ID, just like posting a video, you get allocated content ID, a playlist gets a content ID. So just like a video needs a decent description, you wanna give your playlist a decent description. You can see there, it allows up to 5,000 characters, which I think is about the same as a video. So we wanna give it at least a paragraph of uh, information for this particular uh, thing. So we're gonna, I'm gonna write something short, but we want it to be as uh, search rich as possible without actually looking like it's just a list of tags. That's all I'm gonna put on there for now. It obviously needs a bit more work, but I'm gonna hit the little tick button at the top there and that pushes me out. You can see here, you can see the beginning part of that playlist. So I'm gonna go back out there. And that's basically how you do it. You do it in the regular YouTube app, not Creator Studio. You can add uh, videos to existing playlists. You can create new playlists by selecting the first video in the series and then adding videos to it after that. Uh, you can certainly go in and uh, uh, put in a full description whilst on your uh, iOS device and make the content as rich as possible for your viewers. Whilst we're still on the iPad, you of course can access YouTube via the web browser. And so you have the mobile device version of the YouTube website. So I've gone to my, I've logged in and gone to my page and at the moment I am here where my playlists are you should be able to see everything uh, including that youtube monetization playlist that i just created in the previous clip now you can also do some of this work in the browser version so if we go to the videos what you can see is we're gonna pick i'm gonna pick this second video as you can see it opens up i'm just gonna pause that as you can see, you're in the little viewing window. At the bottom here, you can see uh, where you can do your sharing and flagging. There's a little plus button. So we're gonna click the little plus button there. And that gives us an ability to add that video to any of our existing playlists. So we can do that. No, I'm not gonna do that right now, but you can see there's clearly there's a list of our playlists. We can add those in. Now at the moment, you cannot create a playlist from this area like you could on the YouTube app. So we're just gonna get back. So if I go into, let's, let's pick a playlist here and go to monetization. Okay, the things that we can do in here, uh, is very obviously this is very more limited than the app. So you wanna have the YouTube app because you can do that play, remove and delete. But here, all we can do is add a video to an existing playlist. And so that's it for the browser function. Very, a lot more limiting. So you want to at least, if you're using iOS, is have the proper YouTube app. Here we are on the home page, and I'm going to uh, scroll down and look at the li lists that are displayed uh, to the public, which is the home page. You can see there's a number of lists here that are already uh, listed. You can see that I'm inclined to use the horizontal playlist feature. Now, first of all, what we want to do is go down to the bottom here go to the top I should say press customize channel so we're going to like an edit mode and what that actually does take us to the old version of of uh, YouTube to do this where you can do all the things I'm about to show you so basically if you're in the new version click customize if you're in the old version then go to your home page and you're good to go I'm gonna to go to add to section and then I'm gonna go select content and I'm gonna go created playlists Actually, I'm going to go single playlist, I should say. And I want to lay it out as horizontal. I'm going to use my playlist, and I want to pick somebody else's playlist, which is I could if I wanted to, 
but that doesn't help me. And you can see here there's a little bit of a glitch with Safari in regards to how the list displays it gets hidden here. So I recommend it if you're on a Mac particularly, if you maybe jump over and use uh, Chrome to do this part. This is about the only part that's glitchy in uh, Safari. But I want to put up uh, one of these as a playlist, my YouTube monetization. And I'm going to click done. You can see it's here at the bottom. Uh, if I wanted to move it up in the list, I could click this arrow and it would shift it up. I'm going to leave it about there. I'm not going to move it all the way to the top. I usually like to leave my uploads at the top so you, people can see the most latest videos. That's optional, of course. You can lay it out any way you wish. But it's always good to go with as best practices as possible. Now that's sort of how you uh, deal with laying out your existing playlists on your homepage. What we want to do now is look at creating new playlists and adding videos to playlists. So I'm going to go to the playlist tab right now. If I want to add a new playlist up the top here, I can go new playlist and that will create a whole new playlist. Now I don't want to do that right now. Um, what I want to do is add to an existing playlist. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my current YouTube monetization playlist. And you can see I have an option to edit here. So I can add more videos to this playlist. I can remove videos. Uh, I can move, move, move the order there up and down, add some notes. Uh, maybe choose the thumbnail of one of these particular uh, videos. I want to use the monetization changes one as the thumbnail for this. So I'm going to go there, set as playlist thumbnail. It won't make it the first one in the list, but it will use that thumbnail. That's the thumbnail I want to use for that playlist. So you don't have to use the thumbnail for the first video in the playlist as the thumbnail. Now if I want to add a video to this playlist, I can come across to the here, click add videos. It'll bring up a, a dialogue which I can go to your YouTube videos. I want to pick one of my own. Now there is one video that I didn't add. It was YouTube news, it wasn't specifically about monetization, but it's loosely based, which is this one here. YouTube abuse crackdown from December. I may add that just for demonstration purposes. So I selected it there, I'm gonna go add videos, and it'll update, and you can see this is listed at the bottom now. Whenever you add a new video, it moves it puts it in at the bottom. You can, of course, go and move that up and down. So we're going to leave that like that for now. So that's that's updated. I don't have to do anything else. That's in there now. Say I was in my video section and I'm going, oh, I need to add this video to a particular playlist. Okay, let's say my Canva one, which is doing quite well there. It's a 24-minute lengthy tutorial on how to use Canva. Now, if you're in a video and you want to add it to a playlist, it's simple. It's a bit like on the uh, app. You get in the little add to button here. You can see which ones I've already added to. I've already added to tutorials and iOS tutorials because Canva has a uh, iOS app, so I include it in that. Maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna include it in recommended videos. So I've done that. As soon as I click that box, add it to playlist, and we're done. So that's how you add an individual video from the video page. And that's pretty much it. We've learned how to um, edit the home page to add and move around your playlists that are already created. We learned how to, where the option is to create a new playlist. We've learned how to add uh, a video to a playlist from the playlist and also from the video itself. Now the, 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 th the key things to remember with playlists is give it a descriptive title if you can. Also make sure you put a description of at least a paragraph that explains what that playlist is about which will help you rank your playlists it's crucial if you leave it blank that's not going to help you rank at all for your playlist because if you get a playlist ranking and people sit through and watch your playlist you'll get way more watch time and views than if people are watching an individual video and you just hope that 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 your next video may show up in the search in the uh, suggested or recommended or you, they might click that you're hoping that they might click on an end on the end card to go to another video if you've got a playlist 
Playlists typically autoplay. They hit the first video, it plays into the second video, into the third video, into the fourth video. So playlists are powerful. And if you don't use playlists uh, on your uh, channel, you're missing out. So that's it for playlists. I'll hand it back to me. Well, I hope that tutorial on playlists was helpful for you. Playlists are a very important part of YouTube. So if you're running a channel, you need to know that information. If you thought this video was helpful to you, why not consider giving it a thumbs up? And if you really liked it, share it with those people who you know that might be interested in playlists on YouTube. There's another opportunity for you to subscribe on the end screen. Click the little round icon and you can subscribe right there and then. And then there'll be a couple of videos for you to check out that YouTube has suggested just for you. This is Doug from Doug Houston YouTube and I'll catch you later.